Today is Monday, December 9th, 2019. I'm Kyle Hoagland. What is life like here at Columbia? Well, we got details. And I'm Nicole Thorne. Ready to get your fill? The news is next. Need time for time? Talk to Mr. Grant as soon as possible. The second semester is over in two weeks and you're running out of time. Time for time will help you erase those no credits in your classes you've forgotten to go to this semester. So, see Mr. Grant. Seniors, the yearbook needs you. If you have taken your senior pictures and would like to be in your 2019-2020 yearbook, send your favorite senior picture along with the baby picture to Corinne Clark at her Instagram at clarkphoto522 or email her at karun522 at yahoo.com. Spots are first come, first serve, and filling up fast, so don't miss out. Submit your photos. Grill and chill. The ASB is going to run their usual barbecue menu for three days of the lunch, today, Wednesday, and Friday. Everything will be set up in the com commons, except the grills, of course, so you won't be freezing outside. Bring a couple of bucks for a brat, hot dog, or burger. It's time to get your fill. Mr. Diplock has a lot on his mind. Roll tape. Welcome to this week's episode of Fill of the Wee. So first, we've been saying it over and over and over again, but attendance, it still matters. What's up? Well, especially right now, because we're at the end of the semester, or very close, um, and the opportunity to uh, make up time for time, is running out that window is closing so um, again can't stress it enough because I think a lot of kids assume that if they don't make up the time that the grade is just going to automatically be switched to a grade and that's not going to happen that time has to be made up so as I've been repeating over and over as you mentioned um, come see myself or Mr. Gant and find out the ways you can do that which are Saturday mornings uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays and then we are flexible trying to help people because we know people work and they have athletics and they have other things but that needs to get taken care of yeah so will the same attendance policy carry over to second semester? Correct. Same thing. You miss, you miss, once you get to six absences in a class, it turns to an NCA and you have to start making up that time. And if you let it keep it in NCA, your options are either no credit or summer school, right? right. Well, you don't, you're not going to get credit for that class. So the option is you're going to have to make that class up. How you do that is going to be up to you working with your counselor um, and how you do that. Uh, let's move on to something a little more seasonal. So it snowed and the collective student body lost it in the parking lot. Um, what do we need? Is there anything we need to do differently in the winter? Well, I think the big thing is um, the obvious, which is slow down a little bit um, and just be very cognizant of the fact that um, we are new to driving and we don't understand all of the ins and outs. And even when we do sometimes, that doesn't, never makes it easy. Our back parking lot or a back path around the back of the school, the tennis court area leading out to both um, Happy Valley and Amity gets very icy during this time of the year. Um, and it, we've seen the shift, like I said, seen the change. And it doesn't take much for a car to start moving um, and sliding and then losing control and running into those poles or wires. So I mean, the biggest thing is just taking your time. Slow down so you don't have to hammer your brakes. And when you, once you hit your brakes hard, your wheels are going to start sliding. Yeah. Yeah. So will there be like something like parking violations if you're double parked because you can't see the lines because it's snowed or? No, we, you know, again, we understand that. I think the biggest thing is just communicating when you feel like, uh, can I park here? Can I not park here? Yeah, no, none of that's a big deal. As long as you're parking straight, we plenty of there's plenty of space to park. And it is a good idea to give each other more room than normal. So it's not like we're going out there monitoring. As long as people are straight into the parking stalls and not park, you know, sideways and taking up five spots on their own with their trucks, yeah, they're fine. Okay. Anything else we need to consider when it's winter? Um, no. I, like I said, I think even just not even driving, just being on foot, knowing that it's a big, big um campus is that Mr. Warner can't get to every spot on campus so just same thing with walking don't assume that uh, you know things aren't going to be slippery I think knowing or thinking the other way around or just just being extra careful getting off the buses um, out in that area and same thing walking in the back parking lot it gets very icy and very deceptive where you can't see the that it is icy yeah all right well thank you do you want to pass your classes would you like to graduate on time the end of the semester is December 20th, unlike previous years. That means there's only three weeks to turn in your work and get it graded. Well, what are you waiting for?
turn your work in. Those three weeks will go by fast. Jamari Walker went out with a camera to find the answers to some of life's most vexing questions. Here's what he found out about life, teachers, and midnight snacks. Roll tape. Hello, I'm Jamari Walker and we're here with... Uh, Damien James Munster and I'm the ninth grader. Joanna, I'm in 10th. Chris Brewer, I'm the 12th grader. And then I'm Zephyl Temple. I'm a junior here. Uh, Randy Ortiz, 12th, senior. How's your day going so far? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. It's going pretty good. Could be better. All right, how's your day going so far, Chris? Pretty excellent. Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, Miss Rowley. Why is Miss Rowley your favorite teacher? She's really nice and chill. Do you have a favorite teacher, and who would it be? Uh, probably be Miss Wood. She's pretty chill. She's my mentor teacher. Why is Miss Witt your favorite teacher? Um, she's just like down. She puts herself at the level of teenagers, you know. She's kind of like one of those fun teachers, but she also makes you follow the rules. And, you know, it's just pretty chill in your class. Favorite teacher, Mrs. Growl. All right. Why is Mrs. Growl your favorite teacher? Because she's awesome and nice. All right. Favorite teacher, probably, I'm going to have to say Miss Duke. Why is Miss Duke your favorite teacher? Because uh, she's pretty, she's pretty nice to me and everything. Uh, I'd have to say Mr. Ewing. Why is Mr. Ewing your favorite teacher, man? Because he's super real with everything he teaches, and he uh, keeps the class really fun, lighthearted, while also teaching you real, like real world stuff. Do you do any extracurricular activities? Wrestling, and I did football. Uh, yeah, weightlifting. I do weightlifting after school. Favorite thing about football is it was a team sport, and like I, and like for me myself, it was like because like I could depend on people to help me, and for wrestling, it's an individual sport, so that's why I like them. Uh, history. Why is history your favorite subject? Uh, I just like learning about our past. I guess I just like knowing what happened before us. It's pretty interesting to me. Art. Let's just say art. Why is art your favorite subject? Because you actually get to do stuff and be creative. Uh, mostly I just like working hard and getting a sweat on. And I don't know, I just need to keep up my strength. I guess. What's your favorite subject? Subject? Uh, I'm probably going to have to say fitness. Why would fitness be your favorite subject? Because I got to get big. Favorite subject would have to be English. Why is English your favorite subject, man? Because I speak it. I'd have to say English, just because it's what I'm best at. I got offered advanced classes for that, so. All right, all right. Uh, what's your favorite midnight snack? Dang. Cold pizza. All right. All right, I feel it, I feel it. All right, thanks, bro. Midnight snack would have to be, like, cereal. Cereal? Yeah. All right, what type of cereal is your favorite, though? Fruity Pebbles. Cereal? <laughs> all right, all right. You like the cereal? You like Fruity Tooties? Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's my favorite. Bye. Thank you. Midnight snack? Sleep. Yeah, I like sleeping. Nah, my favorite midnight snack? Don't tell anybody, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Beware, Jamari will be out and about next semester asking the questions that you all want answered. If you see him out with a camera person and a microphone, be polite, clear, and don't cuss, and you'll be making the show. We're hoping that starting in January, this is an every Monday thing. Today's word of the day is raffish, which means cheaply vulgar in appearance and disputable. You could use it like this, James thought his t-shirt made him look cool, but unfortunately, it was just raffish. That's the news. Thanks for watching, and remember, live, live the, the Wildcat wild way. way.